do I even have to say it at this point? Because you know I'm making a smoothie bowl. So here I'm starting off with frozen bananas and strawberries. And I thought I'd share this little tip because I noticed that a lot of people who have a Vitamix don't even know this. But the top portion that comes off is not just so that you can put your plunger in. Oh wow, that sounded so wrong on so many levels. But yeah, anyway, this is actually a measuring cup. So if you look on the side, it has 15 and 30 mils, which translates to one ounce or two tablespoons. So if I do add liquid to my smoothie bowl, that is how much I will use but I don't normally do that and the reason why I will actually show you guys later and for the topping I used some strawberry jam that I made you guys are probably familiar with this recipe if you've seen my previous videos but if you haven't I will link it down below along with everything that I'm using in this video so if you're curious about any of my kitchenware you can all find it at the one link in the description box and now I'm making a parfait I don't think that these were in the same day but in the event that they were basically I'm just using all the same stuff so again I'm using the strawberry jam and I am I'm using as a base the coconut yogurt bourbon vanilla and oh my god why am i going so fast all right so now apparently i also had some blue lotus tea and this i showed you guys in the last what i eat in a week video this is really good for calming your nervous system but one of the side effects and i'm not really sure if you can call it a side effect they tell you right there on the bottle and let me tell you it's 100 percent true this gives you the most vivid dreams like i think the night that i drank this i literally woke up in tears i don't know why that's relevant but i just wanted to let you guys know be prepared and then this day i also prepped some matcha ice cubes yes you heard that correctly here's my dilemma i normally scarf down matcha in about three minutes that's being generous i don't normally drink coffee and even when i do it don't do much for me so yeah my first matcha i was like wow this do be caffeinated don't it so yeah this was me experimenting and i will show you the results of that later and while i was at it i also quickly pickled some red onions and here i am totally cheating because the easiest way for you to pickle anything is to just save the juice from actual pickles but if you want to make it from scratch totally easy all you need is some warm water and some vinegar some salt and that's it and then put them in the refrigerator and you can add sugar as well but it's kind of optional and i also snacked on this bar which isn't my favorite but loving earth does make really good plant-based chocolates by the way uh, yeah this this um i'm not really sure what happened here i attempted to film this and apparently that's all i got and then whatever day this was i'm assuming it's breakfast i just had a orange strawberry cherry jackfruit smoothie and then later on in the day as kind of a snack i guess i had this protein shake from rebel and the banana nut is my favorite smoothies are basically my go-to because i mean you just throw everything in a blender and then it's pre-chewed food like come on it's like baby food for adults so something like this is even better because i don't have to do anything oh and then we have another smoothie bowl ah, shocker and this one is a potato bowl which is basically just dragon fruit so i used the frozen pack along with frozen banana and that's it i didn't add any liquid to this and i didn't forget i'm still going to show you guys why i don't normally add liquid but that's going to be later because right now i just took two ripe plantains which is actually not my preference i prefer them green and like not as sweet and the words that type of the brown that's my business and these i fried up in some avocado oil and then i made some guacamole to go on the side this is the reason why i paired these together is because growing up my best friend was dominican and she introduced me to something called mango which is basically like mashed platanos and it's served with these pickled onions on top paired with fried cheese and i'm pretty sure i was tired at this point so i just made ramyun for dinner and these i get from h mart but you can also order them online so i will link them in the description box down below and if you've seen my previous videos you know how i feel about this bourbon vanilla coconut yogurt so i'm having yet another parfait but this time with fig and banana and i found a chocolate grain-free granola and I guess here I was just showing you guys how to fan out your banana in case you want to be fancy. And if you guys remember the jackfruit and breakfast tacos, I still had tortillas left over. So I took the final two and I decided to make tortilla chips. So I just cut them up, covered them with a little bit of oil, and then I put those to bake just for a couple of minutes. Basically, you just want to wash them until they get golden. And then I found a jalapeno pepper in my refrigerator that was looking like less than fresh. The skin was like all wrinkly. So I said, you know what? let's make salsa i decided to roast it along with some tomatoes and some garlic i took my chips out of the oven because again they only take a couple minutes and then while i had to wait an entire like 45 minutes for what was supposed to only be a snack i said let me just go ahead and make some pico de gallo to enjoy with my only like what 10 chips but that's besides the point point. and at this point i was actually starving so i decided to make a quick side salad which i was going to eat immediately while waiting for my vegetables to roast so i actually grabbed a roasted pepper from the red pepper 
pepper toast that I made in the last what I eat in a week. Threw that in with some greens, sunflower sprouts, and made a quick balsamic dressing. And this was delicious actually, so highly recommend this salad. It's nice to incorporate like cooked elements into your salads, so if you're ever bored with them, do that. And don't forget to add fresh herbs because it really adds flavor and makes them less boring. And after I ate that, perfect timing because my vegetables were done. And don't be me, don't go right into this with bare hands. Ideally, you wanna wait. In fact, you should actually put your peppers into a container. That way the heat gets trapped inside and it sweats the pepper even further, which makes it even easier to peel away the skin. And then you can throw all of your ingredients into like a food processor or you can even mash it up by hand. I still added spices because it's gonna really build up the depth of flavor. It's levels to this. And I very much enjoy that. In fact, after this, I immediately called my boyfriend and was like, babe, I'm never buying store-bought salsa again. And I would have demolished all of this, but I ran out of chips. So if like me, you have leftovers, like this was the guacamole leftover from my plantain dish, then you can also combine your pico de gallo with your guacamole, namely because red and green are opposites. So that means when you mix them together, you get brown. So my OCD just won't let me go there. But if you're also trying to save space, then just go ahead and put those two together. And these yogurt jars have been Coming in clutch. Oh, and remember those ice cubes we made earlier? I used that to make my matcha latte. And making it this way encourages me to actually let the drink sit and sip on it occasionally. So basically, I have to actually give it time to melt. And in the process, I also don't waste perfectly good drinking water that I use to make those ice cubes, but now have wasted. And don't even pretend that you drink that watered down stuff afterwards. This is not cereal milk. It's not delicious. Up and we have another smoothie. What did I tell you? My go-to meal for when I am busy. And by busy, I mean editing food that I am not currently eating. And I made another kitchen sink salad, which is code for this is all I have in my refrigerator. Let's see if it goes together. The base was fine. The dressing, questionable. And for dessert, I had strawberry milk. Again, if you saw my first what I eat in a week, the very first one, you already know. Cause a lot of you guys have sent me your IG stories on Instagram and said that you loved it. So if by chance you're watching this and you haven't tried it, what are you waiting for? I also snacked on some plantain chips and this brand is my favorite because as you can see, prime real estate for dipping. Then I attempted to use the very last of my grapefruit syrup only to be met with disappointment because this was a punch glass, which in essence means it is not equipped for hot beverages. So I broke it and this was a very sad day because I had literally just bought that. <laughs> so instead I made hibiscus tea, which is something I drink all the time and surprisingly I haven't showed you guys yet. So yeah, highly recommend. Very rich in antioxidants. In fact, I believe it has more than green tea. Ooh, and then this day I made one of my favorite comfort foods, grits. But I didn't stop there. I also sauteed some peppers and onions and some sausage. And this is a dish that I used to eat literally every single day because I would stop at Whole Foods and get this from the hot bar. Only I got plain grits because, you know, they didn't have vegan cheese. And I, I can't even tell you how much I missed that taste. So eating this was an out of body experience and thinking about it, I might have to make this tomorrow for breakfast. Later on, I just wanted something sweet. So I had jackfruit. So all of these yellow parts here are the actual fruit. And when you buy it in cans, you're usually getting wedges that are shaped like this, which is why you guys saw me cutting the center off of my jackfruit before I made the tacos, because that's very hard. So I first removed that so that it makes it easier to get in between all of the fiber and get all of the pods out. So this is one of those meals that you gotta work for it. Like you, you about to go fishing. And when you get a whole pod out, what you wanna do is just split it open and in the middle is where you will see the seed like so. And that seed is encased inside of a sack. If you remove that completely, then you will be left with this and this is the edible part or shall I say the easily edible part. So from that, this is the portion of fruit that I got that I will be eating. And I still had some left over, which I just put in the refrigerator. This was the fiber, which I do plan to use. And then this was the skin. The next morning I made some ginger tea. So I used the leftover ginger syrup from the ginger ale that I made in the last what I eat in a week, along with the BLT. And I added some fresh lemon. Then eventually made another smoothie bowl. And again, this is with dragon fruit, but this time I added a little bit of blue spirulina. And to this, I also added liquid too. I'm sure you guys can notice a big difference in the texture. In fact, it's more of the texture of a traditional smoothie, which is fine at first, but literally only after a couple of minutes, you will see that as I eat it, the consistency just gets thinner and thinner because now it's melting. Eventually you're eating like cold soup. 
So you wind up kind of just eating like fruit cereal, which is cool and all, but not exactly what I'm going for. I like that ice cream consistency. And so when you just use frozen bananas or like frozen mango, they will stay nice and creamy. I also had quite a large cucumber in my refrigerator and I wanted to eat it before it went bad. So I attempted to make this like cucumber salad similar to one that I had had at a restaurant, but honestly had no idea how to make it. I didn't know what the ingredients were. So I used what I had and let's just say those were not close enough. So my mistake was that I didn't have any sesame oil my bad but it was still good and i made that to go alongside a like udon noodle stir fry and this was also a dish that was inspired by one that i had at a restaurant in fact it was called noodle love and i think the name of the dish was tingy tangy so it was basically like a spicy gojujang sauce with like kimchi and bok choy but i just used whatever veggies that i had and threw that in there And for dessert, I found this new flavor of Ben & Jerry's, so I tried that, and by tried, I mean ate the entire pint. I'm pretty sure my entire childhood, I thought you should eat this in one sitting, and no one can tell me any differently. You can't tell me this isn't a single serving size. And then the next day, I used some lemon syrup to make a tea with some fresh mint. And since I had a bunch of frozen noodles and no container to seal them in, I figured I should probably try and eat them quickly and decided to try out this uh, ramen broth that my boyfriend got me. And it was white, surprisingly, because it was soy milk based, which is fine, but I did have to doctor it up a little bit. And this was the result of that. And I remember this being pretty like cold, rainy, lazy day. So I just snacked on some chips with my leftover salsa and guac and also made a sparkling lemonade because even though seltzer water is not my thing normally with citrus, it is delicious. What am I, Dr. Seuss? So anyway, that is my what I eat in a week. Surprising fact, the first couple of these videos was actually not a week. It was way longer than that because I was just curating whatever was on my memory card and not really considering the date. So if these videos seem shorter in any way, that's the reason why. And if you're not subscribed already, make sure you do that because I have a ton of more of these coming. In fact, I still have three full weeks of editing. So if you don't want to miss them, hit the button and also give it a like because it really lets me know what you want to see. I make more of it and everyone's happy. Okay then, all right now, bye-bye.